cute. And you are explaining the calculus part. Hey, this is level two, maths, study time, top tips. We're gonna start off today with probability. The big thing here is when we're drawing out those probability trees, let's fill in all the, all the points straight away. And this includes our out, outcome values as well. This is really important for those next few questions uh, in order to speed up that process of knowing what we're talking about. Sometimes you'll just have to add up those outcome values straight away. The next part is normal distribution. We need to know the difference between normal and inverse normal and when to use each one. The easiest way to do this, and often a way that helps, is by drawing a diagram of a bell curve and shading in the part that we're talking about. Cool, for calculus you're going to need to know how to integrate and differentiate and feel really comfortable going back and forth between the two of them with don't forget the plus C with integration. Rates of change, start by writing down what you know and what you want and then somehow relate those variables if it's with an equation or with a diagram. For rates of, uh, for kinematics you need to know how when differentiating you go from displacement to velocity to acceleration and integration you're going back the other way. Also when you're graphing if you really get stuck on how to draw a graph take it point by point and it will come together nicely for you. All right, lastly for this algebra section, the main thing here is sometimes the questions aren't going to be from easy to difficult. Sometimes you'll start with an excellence question and then right underneath it is going to be a merit question. So we need to be able to scan through straight away which parts we can answer straight away and what parts we'll need more time on. Uh, the next thing is go slow, especially on these excellence questions there's going to be a, a heap of algebra that's going to be thrown at you and you're going to have to solve. Let's make it a step by step process and write out each step. The reason being is because it will stop you from making silly mistakes which is often going to cause you uh, drop marks in the exam and also for the examiner to read through and if you do make a silly mistake he can just uh, or he or she can just see where that mistake is and give you follow through marks anyway. Lastly, don't forget about the discriminant formula. This is going to come up and uh, often you can just get an achieve mark just by stating whether the discriminant value is greater than or equal to zero. Awesome, if you need some any, any more last minute tips, check out our walkthrough guides, strategy guides and our checklists on studytime.co.nz.